Yo, what is up gamers? Today we're working with Mother's Love. This item, when we pick it up, will spawn a soul of Lilith. And you can see we get a bunch of different stats here, but these stats are not just gonna be stagnant. When I spawn another familiar, we get King Baby this time, we'll get even more stats. So what's happening here? This item is part of Repentance Plus, and I was absolutely flabbergasted about the fact that I somehow took damage on the first dip in the first room. I was also flabbergasted because this item I've seen before. I saw it in my Discord in the content suggestions channel and someone came up with a very very cool idea and I lost it I couldn't find the idea anymore but basically it was get this item and try and go crazy with it see how far you can push it and then you know how we played with repentance plus recently I was looking through the items in this mod pack and I saw this item again and I was like oh my god this is the mod pack where the suggestion came from so mother's love is very simple all it simply does is on pickup gives you soul of Lilith and for every single familiar that you have you get stats up and it does specifically work with the box of friends so as you can see we can proc it we'll get double the amount of familiars and double the amount of stats so that's kind of the general idea of the entire run wow that was a lot of money does this shop have anything good ho oh, ho ho i mean it's really good i uh man that sucks I, I wish i could add a better way to use it let's let's see maybe i use it on the treasure room or something so that's not all we're going to do we got a couple goals in mind here my first goal is of course hit boss rush because boss rush with lilith is an absolute classic the same kind of idea as greed mode. The more waves we do, the more chances I'll be able to use our little box here and maximize our stats, see what we can get to. And every single floor we complete, I'm gonna give myself one solo Lilith so we can just maximize our familiars. I believe these guys also count Lost Fly, that'd be so sick. And at the end of this, we're gonna have so many stats combined with so many different familiars, it's going to be wondrous. So Lost Fly, do you count? Absolutely, this is perfect. I should have, I should have diplopied. I mean, I didn't know if it would work. That was my my main idea here is that I wanted to test if it would work, but that kind of sucks. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Now we know. Every single familiar, not just a baby, counts. I didn't know if it was like, does Incubus only count? Would it be like a Brother Bobby type deal? Or do flies also count? I'm down to Diplopia, honestly, the Jesus juice. That's just as good. I saw in the item description, it said that different familiars count for different amounts of stats. Where like flies and spiders don't count for as much or barely any. And full-on familiars count for a lot more. So we'll keep that in mind. We'll get our double damage up, making this basically one full damage up. Because, you know, Jesus juice is kind of small there but doubling it will make it really good take the box of friends i can't wait to see what kind of stats we get now that we press space bar i don't know why i called it the little chest earlier that's not what it's called i apologize time to go down poor gaming I have a curse room right below me. I was not gonna go, but the lost fly seemed to have gravitated directly towards the curse room. I got a good feeling. The vibe is correct. I've been baited. Our incubus is low-key kind of homing because of King Baby. King Baby's always kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about the homing, but yeah, I guess more brain off power is always going to be good. The less I have to think, the more I can just press space bar and uh, hopefully get even more statistics. What's this treasure room? A lard. I want to bank on maybe uh, the blind being a familiar here. Lard is solid, but... Ah! What the hell is this? Excuse me, what? <laughs> what are you? Upon use, become invincible to projectiles. Hold the bag up and start sucking all the nearby projectiles for three seconds. When the effect ends, all suck projectiles are released as homing tears in your firing direction. Did this come out before like telekinesis was a thing? Because to me, that literally just sounds like it's telekinesis. <laughs> Probably did, for all I know. I, I mean, I, I, I imagine it did. So what kind of stats do we get to when we do press spacebar? With three familiars, we get to a much better tier rate, better speed. It does give stats to every single statistic. It's not just all damage, all tier. So that is nice to see. It does kind of suck when we leave the room. It's going to go back down. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's the reason we need to speed run our way to boss rush. Because the moment we get all these familiars and we're able to press spacebar to the maximum. The maximum being, I believe, 64 is the max of familiars you can have in a room. That's what we really want to see. The max for that. Now, in my mind, do devil rooms or angel rooms have more familiars? Because that's all I really care about. In my mind, it's devil rooms. But I don't really even have the HP to pay for devil rooms. So I think it's more dependent on uh, if I have the ability to spend it. If I beat the boss and I got more than three hearts, I will participate. Otherwise, uh, that's just a no-go, I fear. Oh! It's a good day to be alive, guys. Do I do the smart thing or do I do the funny thing? Ha <laughs> ha! 
The smart thing is, I mean, literally Petrified Poop paid out with a nickel just now. The funny thing is, literally, it's Lazy Worm. I have a feeling we're gonna have a very good day today, but only if I take the Lazy Worm. That's just how these things work. I, uh, let me check the shop, install, while I think about what I want to do. I'll take the Soul Heart. This will give me three and a half hearts. And then, yeah, all right, I'll do it. Come on. What are you guys munching on today? You guys got a good snack going, a full-on meal, a sandwich, some pizza, a burger. I'm just naming as many different foods as possible. Possible. Pasta, water, soda, wings, onion rings, nachos. Now I'm just naming different bar foods. <laughs> one of these are gonna hit. And, and if not, then one of these things that I mentioned are things that you would have wished that you had right now. That's right, baby. Let's go. What's up, Bolivian? Well, pop the box of friends here. Look at our stats just increase like that. Double Lost Fly is super powerful as well. It means whenever enemies are close to these duos, these twins, uh, I don't think they're gonna be paying attention to me whatsoever. I did get an HP up, and so I'll just check out what's inside of here. I don't need to commit. That looks like a familiar. I don't really know what it is. What the hell are you? <laughs> That's terrifying. I don't know. Okay, wh what, what is this? Double tap shooting button to launch a ghost familiar. It says familiar, so I, I don't know. Maybe it works. In the direction you are firing, the ghost will latch onto the first enemy it collides with, dealing damage over time for seven seconds. I. It says familiar. I... Come on. It does. All right. Very epic. I mean, it's new. It's new. There you go. I mean, I feel like it should count towards my stats, but I get it, I guess. That was damage on open, and it gave me a black rune. Oh, I see. I see. This is what seems to be like a uh, evil version of the holy chest. I get it. Was that bad trip? That kind of sucks. And then I get an item out of it. Vault of Havoc. So many new stuffs, but this is inactive. Passively stores killed enemies and can be used if 12 enemies are stored. Upon use, brings you to a special room with 12 most recently killed enemies. Clearing the room spawns a reward based on the total HP of spawned enemies. That seems really cool also. Wow, there's a lot of cool stuff in Repentance Plus. So much to check out, actually. But not for today. Today, I care more about, holy schmoly, my HP is low. Let's mess with this little, like, a dark Esau dude. Okay, actual unironic map map moment. I said I was going to give myself a, a solo Lilith every single floor. I forgot the last floor, so I'm just going to give myself two here. Harlequin, baby! And another one. Oh! And, and that was my plan all along, guys. I mean, let's be real here. We all knew that was gonna happen. What a humongous play. Our stats are also ever increasing, but I need more actual babies, I feel. This king baby is kind of doing well for us, but also I feel inconsistent because my incubus is like a little bit further than I'd like him to be. I'd rather he be right on top of my back. Instead, he's kind of lagging behind. Another treasure. That's a familiar. We gotta do it. It's also conjoined. That's another familiar, uh, but you know, either way we get the job done here so what happens if i press space bar now and immediately we can see the stark difference because it isn't just wow we get more familiars every single time we do it now the amount of familiars we have is doubling so it's going to be exponential damage finger bone is a great trinket but no thank you this is the reason i'm so excited to give myself a soul lilith every single floor it's gonna add that little extra flair that little bit of oh my god what will he get on the next floor could it be a random twisted pair incubus you'll never know till you see it happen 17 cents feeling rich as hell going into the shop and getting wow some wonderful stuff I think I'll get enough money to buy bunny in a box I sure as hell did even more stats everything is coming to fruition I got a Rubik's cube baby you guys know how to solve Rubik's cubes I feel like I'm dumb as hell they literally give you like the instruction manual on how to do it and I still can't <laughs> I know it's supposed to be like uh, find the green first and then do like up then left then up then left and then bottom right or something it never made sense to me one day Today I'll solve a Rubik's Cube, but not today. Wow. Listen, I'm, I'm taking this. <laughs> There's only so much level of meme that I can take before I'm like, dude, that's literally pay to win. How could I not take that? Turdlet moment? Ah, that's an easy fight, especially if I press spacebar now. Already at 8.50 base damage with conjoined and double incubus. I think we're gonna be okay. Go oh! Never mind. It, nothing matters. This is probably the best run I could have ever hoped for. I don't know how I keep getting familiars. <laughs> Another turtlet fight, gonna die even faster, and we can still see the stats increasing. This is what I kind of want. Imagine this, but 10 times more, because this is gonna be what happens when you hit boss rush. If I don't go fast enough, that's not happening, though. We got a speed run, dude. I forgot that's our main goal. Our main goal is to blow up. Our second goal is boss rush, and our third goal is get myself soul lit with every single floor. So we can just see what we get. Uh, it is time to go. No time to waste. I want to blow up our restock machine, but I'd, I'd leave off on it. I'd rather just have the money because I got paid to win now and that's important to me. Having that pay off more than anything is a uh, top priority, I would say. So yeah, later. 
In order to know where I want to go, I have Curse of Blind, goddammit. Let's pop the Sun card. Then we'll also pop the Soul Lilith, grab Leech, appreciate it. And I don't know how much time I have, actually. So let's just go down. I'd love to explore, genuinely. It would be so sick. I mean, it's not like I would struggle exploring these areas. <laughs> but priorities are priorities, and we must be gaming. We gotta venture forwards and not make any mistakes, I'm afraid. Hello? I mean, I'm blind, which kind of sucks, so I'll just take it. My goodness. I feel like I'm getting every item I could actually want here. I you you I mean many of you would have said skill issue if I didn't open this bomb here. So thank god I pushed that bomb just incorrectly correctly enough. That could have been devastating for my ego. What is this? Bag tissue. All pickups in a room are destroyed. Eight most valuable pickups form an item quality based on their total weight. Oh. So it's like uh, bag of crafting, but in a form of like a pickup one time use. That's a pretty cool concept. I like that. I don't think it's gonna be too useful for me, but we'll run it. Uh, what was in here? Blind moment. Am I gonna be able to spawn enough? Uh, I, I don't know. I kind of just want to see what it would do. Logically, eight coins turns into portable slot machine. Let's see if bag tissue does the same thing. This should be portable slot. No, it's random, I guess. Or I, I guess Bob's brain also counts as a familiar. So everything works out in the end. No punishment moment. <laughs> very epic and bodacious today. Despite my very overpowered run and my speed run where I know where I'm going, I still only barely have enough time. I mean, we got two and a half minutes per floor. So it's time to go fast. I can really feel my speed speeding up now whenever I press spacebar in a room. Boxes here, we got perfection, which I actually don't want. What is this? Key knife, 10% chance to activate dark arts when taking damage. No, thank you. We got a health up, a justice is cool. And yeah, I don't really want perfection because I think the pay to win is going to be more fun. No time to waste, two minutes per floor now. Boom, another one. Lil Dumpy, nice to have you here. Defensive prowess is always good. What was that? That- wait a second, that was like a blood spike rock. Hello? Huh? What are you? What- I- I need to know. Oh. Oh! Wow! Okay, I was not expecting that. I was thinking it would be like a, a spiky block blood thing that would deal more damage if I stood over it. Red cracked key was not on my assumption list. I'm proud though, I'm happy. Let's get a taste of what we could have. Boom. There's all that good stuff. 13 base, look at my tier rate. That is but a smidge of my power. Look what they have to do to replicate it. Other good items we gotta look for is obviously battery based items if you can land a 4.5 volt, a 9 volt, these types of things. The faster I can charge, the better overall. Wow, well, treasure room in here. I got time to do this. Hyper coag. We're looking for familiars or just good stuff in general. That's pretty good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I know it's not under familiars, but it is under good stuff in general, so I'll take it. Dude, I am slow. Oh my god, I might not make this. We actually only have two minutes left. I have not even beaten this boss. Okay, all right. We gotta lock in. Next floor, we might have to sacrifice a treasure room or something. It's gonna be kind of sucky. If I'm lucky, we'll get the fool card, and that won't have to happen. Main thing though is we gotta fight the boss because imagine this but multiply 10 times over, you know? Mr. Belly's great. I need hearts. It's time to go. Solo Lilith gives us big chubby this time and we gotta find our boss. I don't believe there's a cap on the stats that this item can give you, which is why this idea was so cool. Shoutouts to whoever uh, came up with it initially in my discord. I'll try my best to look for it. If I can't find it, I'll let you guys know. Let yourself be known in the comments. And if I do manage to find you in the comments, cause you know, I love reading the comments, you know how I am. I'll be sure to thank you myself. Here is the full card. Blow it up and hope that the boss is in this direction. The worst thing possible to happen right now is that I get to the boss and uh, I don't actually have the full card available. I'm just gonna check if this is it. This is it! And we have the full card. We can just go back for it. Wonderful. Perfect mapping. Very lucky for me. Let's not waste any time. I have to make the split second decision on whether or not should I use the box of friends on the boss fight for mom or save it for the boss rush. Do I think I need it to beat mom in 30 seconds or less? Nah, I, I think I can do it. I mean, look at the damage. If we save it for boss rush, we'll overall get more damage and that's kind of the whole thing we're going for. Take the PhD for some future damage. Gonna need you to fall down mom hands. Thank you. We want damage today, so negative. And here we are! We are here. We made it. What do we want? I mean, Tears Up is cool. Scorpio is probably the best thing here. There's also Beelzebub transformation. I'm thinking Scorpio, yeah. Let's pop this now. Grab the Scorpio, go to one side, and let's see how crazy we can get. <laughs> this is going to be an absolute nutcase of a boss rush, guys. It seems like at this point, with all my familiars, every single time I press spacebar, I get a plus three damage up. Are the tears going past the cap? 
they are. Oh my goodness. So there's no cap on tier rate. There's no cap on damage. This doesn't seem to be a cap on anything. This is a one-way ticket to crashing your game. I'm down. Oh, was that it? <gasps> I already hit the cap? You know what I need? I need more familiars so it can dupe faster and better. I am destroying this boss rush I, there's nothing that can beat me i just hold down a button and it's over later bye world's fastest boss rush the peeper do you count see there you go so we actually have not even hit the upper limit all we need is more familiars and we can push it even further say goodbye to the stats for now but that's not going to be the end of it we're going to get more familiars and we're going to push it even further very exciting holy moly Oh, here's another one of those chests. I opened it by accident using my invulnerable friends from the curse room, but it did the same thing a holy chest does where it's like, Lamal, get trolled, idiot. You don't get to have anything. Final treasure room, presumably. Uh, odd mushroom skinny is okay, but we got a pay to win here. I might as well try and push it as far as possible. Tough love is broken, but I would actually prefer a familiar over tough love. I think that would be more thematic, more in line. Taurus is definitely not it. Anemic kind of sucks. Sack dagger. I, I do orbitals count i feel like i should know this i mean it's kind of a familiar nah it's probably not i've already found you what the hell are you doing here last roll golden razor make sure to pick this up whenever you find it by the way it gives you five coins my voice cracked it's time to end the video I, what how are you not blow okay it's gonna blow up on the next time so i'm gonna just do this manually and go for the double roll this is no longer gonna be a thing hemoptysis is okay uh when the isaac update comes out i believe because when we were back playing the isaac beta for the online i don't believe the, the the restock blow up trick worked anymore you can get two rolls off of it so i think they're planning to fix it so i may as well abuse it while we have the chance you know I, I don't think it should be in the game it feels unnatural it's definitely like an exploit but while it's in the game i may as well use it champion's belt's cool and tarot card is not as cool it scares me and we'll go i know it seems crazy what i'm about to say but it could be to my left wow what a calculation it seemed like the logical spot and in here oh! yes oh my i'm actually rewarded with even more cracked keys for the next floor what are these things there's so many cool chests on repentance plus you take keys you probably take hearts based on you know the, what it's looking like what you took my red key <laughs> huh oh wow really it takes a cracked key to open this thing well i uh i want to keep this because i bet you that i could find the other ultra secret room if i put my mind to it we could also fight uh hush if we go fast enough and since this whole thing has been about going fast skeeting past the entire rooms and floors let's go for it feels refreshing to play a lot of lilith i do not get to touch the character too often especially since i finished her mark on dead god moment which is why i'm super epically delighted to play her today i gotta give myself another soul Lilith, by the way Still waiting for that big boy moment where Twisted Para comes in. Actually, it's a worm friend. Hey, stats are stats. No way I'm gusting the Ultra Secret without the map. I am not that cracked at the Binding of Isaac. My mental is not there. You really think I can mentally map out an Isaac map on Womb with Curse of Loss? You're crazy. What does this do? It just gave me a broken heart for the lols. Very nice. Uh, let's defeat It Lives. Save our charge if we can use it on Hush. And I think Hush will insta-die. With these stats, I don't think anything is surviving. Also, I am going to have like two Psyflies. I mean, I have four Psyflies on Boss Rush. I was basically invincible. Why is there an indicator below this? Is this something to do with that heart that I took? What does this do? I don't know. I got lump of coal. Very nice. Sick item. Let's go. Okay. Treasure room. Here's more indicators that I don't understand. But these two, they got nothing on me. They got nothing to do with familiars. Why is this one being built up? Wait, what? Am I going to spend a broken heart to do something to this? What? Oh, I wanted that. <laughs> Well, actually, I have infinite range because I have technology, so this is better. But I, I actually wanted the mom's contact. That sucks. Okay, well, that's a new mechanic I just learned for Repentance Plus. Good to know. Uh, and this is familiar. Plus Beelzebub. Let's open all of these. I get damage, which is cool. More keys. I need them. We got a Perthra rune, which is nice. I got to give myself another soul of Lilith. This one. Get oh, God. That was the big one. That was what we wanted. Car battery. This is the big one. This is what we wanted. Buy everything to proc balls. I'm out of money already. Wow. Look at what I'm shooting. And I have not even used box of friends whatsoever. I forgot about this like double tap guy. Where is he? 
Where are you at? There you are, buddy. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I'll give him a little spotlight by himself because I feel bad for forgetting about him, to be honest with you. But at the same time, like, can you blame me? Okay, here's your two-second showcase of this item. There he is. It's Dark Esau. He's going along. He's gaming. All right, get out of my face. I never want to see you again. Do I care about Perthro or do I care about Cracked Key? I think I care more about Perthro, but maybe I can use the Perthro on, like, some random crawl space, I don't know, like, that I find if I'm lucky. Probably not gonna happen, but I got the bombs to gamble this, why not? Oh, there you go. And then there's an item in here that I don't want, and I per throw and I take the crack key with me. Sorry, that's not gonna happen. Bird's eye is way too good. Okay, so I'm gonna walk inside of this fight, and I'm gonna effectively use Box of Friends twice over. And I think I'm really broken here. <laughs> This is exactly what I envisioned. We're way more OP than we were on Boss Rush, guys. <laughs> what happened? Where did I get all this luck from? It's it's the brightest light I've ever seen. This is the biggest flamethrower I've ever experienced in Isaac history. You thought Bloom in your open world games was bad? Yeah, try the Binding of Isaac with Bird's Eye 10 luck. <laughs> Flamethrower build goes hard, man. It has been a minute. See you later. Immediate melting damage, immediate satisfaction, immediate she old show gameplay. I'm thinking we're in the correct timeline today, guys. Absolutely. Why am I shooting Hamel after you now? What? What caused this? What? Why Why am I no longer shooting technology? <laughs> what did I take to make this happen? I don't think I took anything. I, well, I don't know. Well, whatever. You guys have been doing your unlocks as well. I'm excited to get started on another one tomorrow for my third file. If you have been unlocking like crazy, congratulations. I know what it's like to watch YouTube and be like, man, I kind of want to play Isaac. Don't worry, I understand it. That's the Isaac effect. Isaac and YouTube literally just go hand in hand, to be honest with you. Let's experience this godlike dark room. Okay, we got a Perthro. Don't forget about it. Oh! Yeah, I mean, that's that's exactly what we need. Another familiar. Absolutely. 8-3 can join. I'm not doing that. That's the most insulting thing you could ever show me. How dare you, sir? I'll take this though and get down to like 2 HP and risk my life. That sounds a lot more epic. I- what even happened in this room? I walked in and I just won. <laughs> Beelzebub moment. I am the god of flies. Reverse Hierophant, removing any form of suspense for the run. You'll love to see it. I thought I'd make it a little bit challenging, but no siree. My gamer skills are immaculate today. I know I've barely been hit as well. Like, I got perfection earlier today. I've been playing a very hot recently. Big fan currently. Uh, skinny room in this direction. It's looking like this is probably the way to the boss. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna continue this way just to confirm it for ourselves, and then we can, uh, there you go. Probably head on back while we take some items. There's Tiny Toma. That will be stats. There's Brother Bobby. That will be stats. I actually don't know how I'm getting so many familiars, guys. It's actually literally what I envisioned. Hey, did I even give myself a soul lilith on this one? I don't think so. Well, time to crash. Sure, why not? Buddy in a box again. This one was bird cage. This also counts. Just kidding. I guess not. Taking a single item that I have an idea for and then pushing it to its limit is one of my favorite things to do. And we accomplished that majorly today. And that should be it. Lead pencil, Bob's curse, and let's go murderize the lamb, aka Isaac, aka me but dead. Not me, me. Isaac but dead. I, if that was me but dead, I mean, honestly, I'd be happy to be dead. That guy looks so cool. Hello, lamb! Pressing space bar, getting a plus six damage up, and then ruining my game and probably crashing if I don't stop shooting, which is forcing me to shoot more because it's way more satisfying and tempting to shoot more. We're not done though. One more thing to do. Hello delirium. I'm thinking no matter how low my HP is, this guy is done for. All right, make your predictions. How long will delirium last? I say genuinely, like of course it's RNG dependent. Will he go face form or not? If he goes face form, no longer than three seconds, I'm calling it. It's brownie though. We're not going to know just yet. I'm going to die if I keep playing like a crazy person though. Hello? Well, let's find out. Double and let's go crazy with it. We're definitely doing a lot, but it's no face form. There it is. Here we go. Melting, melting. It's done. Look at that. Wow. A wonderful run. I love that I use Box of Friends and I have guaranteed flames and I can just shoot my flamethrower like crazy. Mother's love satisfied me to no end. What a wonderful experience. Shoutouts to Repentance Plus. Shoutouts to the community and shoutouts to you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Love you and GG.